Quakert, and we're here today to talk about Mariah Media and their brand new initiative called the Santa Choice Awards. I'm with Colleen, Jeannie, and Bart, and they're going to tell us about the awards program and how you can get involved. Colleen, tell me how the awards program got started. Well, the awards program is run by Mariah Media, and they're a media outlet with television, radio, print assets, and the award program is has many different categories, and they are a consumer, um, it's a consumer website where people and parents can go and find so the I best products. So I something on there. So tell me some things that I might find if I go on the website for the Santa's Choice Awards, and is that the site that I'm going to look for? Santa's Choice, what do I Google? SantaChoiceAwards.com. SantaChoiceAwards.com. So if I Google that, or I put that in there, and I go on there, what kind of products am I going to see? There's actually about 25 different categories of products. They range from apparel, pets, what you'd expect from Santa, just for dad, just for mom, toys, and books. And you can, if it's a supplier of a product, you can go to the website Santa Choice Awards and actually enter the product online. And as a consumer, you can go there and see the reviews of those that are part of the award. That's great. And purchase them and to their website so if I have a, a product, um, a brand new product or something that's been on the market, does it have to be brand new or can it be something that's been on the market to look for not have a release date restriction and Santa is classic, you know. So there's a <laughs> lot of products out there that have a lot of a call for entry into the Santa Choice Awards program because Mariah Media is the platform that reaches millions of consumers, which is how once a, co a company or product puts an award, including an author, um, they're, they're promoted through those media assets. That's great. Right. Okay, so the, as a mommy of five, if I wanted to do all my Christmas shopping and I hit Mariah Media and I hit the Santa's Choice Awards, I could pretty much cover grandma all the way down to, to, to baby. To so your dog absolutely. Your to my dog and my kitty absolutely. too. Pets, pets are, are actually a big, big deal. Pet. All right. Yeah, actually, do you know that we spend more money on our pets than we do on our children? And that's because our pets cannot talk back to us. So we love that. Well, I have so, to add also that a lot of times, you know, we forget as women that men at the holiday time like, you know, saws and, you know, stuff from Home Depot and stuff for men, like not just clothing or tie. Right. So our product, um, you know, Santa Choice Award, the promotion of it, is really a lot of fun for anyone who's shopping for anyone in the family. Oh, that's great. Yeah. All right. Now, Bart, I know you're a best selling author. I know your latest book, The Art of the CEO, which has been a really um, amazing. If you haven't had the chance to read The Art of the CEO, you should check it out. But tell me, as an author, what's your perspective on an awards program? Two things. I cannot stress how strongly important it is for an author or any business leader to get that award. Because what it shows is an element of character. From a publishing standpoint, this shows that your house is not part of the greed system that makes most companies vile around Christmas time. Rather, the Santa's Choice Award, this shows that you're a give back firm, and that is something that we all need, well, and frankly, we all could use around Christmas. Help me understand how the Santa's Choice Awards is a give back firm. So, what's going on there? Um, we, the Santa's Choice Award for every submission that is entered, a proceed will go to the Mariah Foundation, which is a 501c3 pending organization which um, benefits uh, underprivileged children and a lot of different charities. Wow. And also, with the submission process, the samples that are given to our um, Mariah Media for the reviews, there's one sample from every product that's entered that goes also to underprivileged um, foundations and charities oh, that we have selected. That's great. Yeah, for the holiday season and all year long. Wonderful. Okay, so with all these things in one spot, when, if I want to put one of my products or books into the awards process, um, how would I go about that? What's the submission process? How does it work? What are the dates? Well, right now the call for entries for the Santa Choice Awards is open. It's online again. If you go to Santa Choice Awards with an S.com or without, you'll end up at the same place. And you can enter into your category. You fill out a number of questions about the product itself, description, upload your photograph, tell us where it's available for sale, and then proceed through the payment of the submission itself. And then there's it's a 275 fee entry fee, and four samples are required. Okay. And then what happens is we send out two of those samples 
to reviewers that are qualified by the category okay. for the product by age appropriateness and any other criteria. Okay, so if somebody had a tool, that would go to someone right. who understands tools. Absolutely. And if someone had a toy, someone who goes to toys. Now, yes. is Santa Teachers, himself yes. on the board? Absolutely. Okay, so he's he, a head honcho. All right, so he puts his two cents in on yes. whether your product or service is Santa choice worthy. Santa right. proves it's got to be good. And yeah, <laughs> Santa is our, is our boss. Well, you know, I, if I may, I'd like to have, have the people be very aware that shopping is a delicate art and that to get the right gift for Christmas is very important. Very I tried true. to steer my wife toward Lamborghini, saying that my, I needed a vehicle Your Lamborghini? that reflected mm -hmm. the, the prestige and forward drive of my career. So for Christmas, she got me a uh, treadmill. Oh, an award winner, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's, there's one more in every minute. But the other thing is that you can find places on the Santa's Choice Award to give and generously donate to nonprofits in someone else's name. And that, I think, is the best Yeah, of you know what? I love that. I have to tell you, I'll tell you a real personal story real quick. When I was living in Manhattan, I actually lived over um, in Chelsea before it was cool on uh, 25th between 7th and 8th. And I would go to the post office over there and they, during the holiday times, and they had all, they had boxes of all the letters that children had sent to Santa. And there was an opportunity there to actually read through the letters, select the things that children had chosen, and then mail them off. So in today's world of technology, it sounds like this is the same way that we can kind of do that. Shop for your own family, shop for your own friends, and at the same time, be able to help those less fortunate. And I also want to mention, too, you know, there's a lot of products out there that are made by really creative people. We have been thinking in my head of one woman who does her own scarf line, wow. and she's an award winner. And what we have also available to reach to the public so they can see where these great products are is the Santa Gallery Mall, which okay. is a place that oh, an award winner can actually take a little like you know room in the house, in the mall, so to speak, and then feature their products. Okay, so when we talk about this, media. the Santa Gallery Mall, is that a place I, I physically go to? It's, yeah, a, it's a magical place online. <laughs> I like that. Yes. Because I like to do my shopping online. Every day. Yes. <laughs> well, that's the most important thing. One of the most important things is the trending towards shopping for the holidays online. There's a lot of people who just don't want to go to malls anymore and they want to purchase their products over the internet. So it's kind of nice that Santa and the elves have given, given them a little easier access. That's wonderful. Yeah. What else can you tell me about some of the products? What is one, and I know all the products are interesting, and, and especially the ones that are award-winning, but is there anything specifically that stands out in your mind personally, and not that you're endorsing one product over another, but you're just thinking, wow, I, I'd love to have that. Is there anything that any of you can think of that you've seen? The scarf was the one. The I scarf was the one you wanted? OK. No, just, <laughs> no, just this one. But there was also another, I'm not going to name the manufacturer, but it was a toy. And it was very educational. And it uh, kind of explained, you know, for the children to learn about the skates, but it was a large range of ages. Like, you could start, like, the colors, and it would blink and everything entertaining for a youngster. And then as it got more complicated, it would entertain and keep the value for that product all the way through ages 8 to 10. Right. So for someone giving a gift, you know, those kinds of products, are, especially those with good underlying messages, is what Santa wants to see. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So something that's not only entertaining, but educational as well. Absolutely. Good to hear. And then there's fun. Sleds. Aww. The traditional things, you know, like they, those are the best. Sometimes the, the cardboard box, you know, is the one that they go for, the wrapping paper in the day of the holidays. You know? That's great. Bart, what did you want to add? I'm wondering just where Jeannie keeps the sled. Oh, uh, really you know where it is. Yes, it's, it's magical. Well, I want to know, I also want you to know that if any of you are on the Sheryl Sandberg side of things, uh, and wanting to lead in, you can get a marvelous t-shirt that says, behind every successful woman is herself. That's another one of those products that are fun for someone who's a reader to get as a gift. Now, is there anything Books that stands important. out for you, Colleen? Um, well, last year we uh, had a winner of like Alex and Ani bracelets, which I love, and they're on my wrist right now. And I know they're very, very popular, but um, the, for children's products, I, there was the game like she was talking about. So there's a bunch of great stuff on the site already. There is wine on the site. That's true. There's a winner in the wine. It's a Chardonnay. 
and it's actually a small vineyard in New Jersey. Wow. And um, they make their own wine, and they submitted it into the program, and there you go. They're and all Chardonnay is actually my favorite wine. And yeah. when people ask me, why do you have... three categories is quite a number, yeah. a, range, a range. Yeah, very <laughs> much so. And yeah. when people ask me, why do you have five children, I say, Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they're a they're big gifts as well for the holidays. You know, a lot of people are out there buying you know, gifts of uh, alcohol, you know, wine, and so on for people. So it really is a large range of products, and that's what we're happy about. That's wonderful to hear. So now. Once that they're selected, how can people use the fact that they've been selected to help market and give back to the community, wherever they may be, in whatever one of the categories or industries they may fall within? How does that work? Well, the first thing is that when they do enter their product, they are giving away one of their samples immediately to the charities of the, of the Mariah Foundation. After the reviews are done and the promotion comes in, which is an automatic given with the award, is the Mariah Media backup of the assets of uh, the television shows and the radio shows and the online reach of the Santa Choice Awards online. But it, when it comes to the marketing for a person or a company that has an award, do you want to add anything? I, I, I do believe there is a seal that comes. So in today's world, quite frankly, it's not enough for a company to do good. It's best to be seen doing good. Mm -hmm. right. Corporations right. have been branded with villainy, and thus it gives an immense uh, cutting edge to those who appear not to be and those who are not to be. There is an approval seal that I can right. get, and there's a board that I can use this logo and, and put it out with my products, man. Not. That's wonderful, yes, and yeah. that's on your website and things that one should become a winner. Yeah, that's and fabulous. It is an achievement. It's a not, the board's not given out easily by Santa. So you know, <laughs> sure, Santa get, does not give out awards easily. Award, Absolutely. You know, it's quite an accomplishment to that person, and a lot of times, you know, they're able to use that on their website, and it is an differentiator really yeah to absolutely other products that are definitely a market differentiator yeah. well is there anything else you'd like to add as we close anyone I think that it's important to note that our call for entries right now is ending on July 31st usually every year about that time July 31st website. yes and then there is a little bit of extensions available but then basically award winners are named every year by September 10th and that's okay. why we give yes. them a lot of time to promote yes. the holiday season and you can enter online you know at any point during the year I just wanted to say, uh, as, as in ending, God bless us, everyone, said Tiny uh, So I'm Gigi Schweiker. We're speaking with Mariah Carey Foundation today. I'm sorry. We have a question from the audience there. Oh, oh thank you. If I'm an author and I have a book I want to submit it, can you talk about the time frame? Submit it? Uh, apply it, what's the follow-up time frame after that? Yeah, what happens is um, it's an open call for entries during the year. So any time during the year you can enter your products, but you won't find out about the award mostly until September 10th of every year. So if you enter right after, you're going to wait to the next year. But most people would be entering their products now through the deadline of July 31st if it's a book. And books are very, very popular as gifts for the holidays. They let, you know, let's keep that in mind. They do take a little bit long, they longer actually to review. They are the most difficult products to because, review. Yes. I, think then, I do want to add on that just that, uh, that this is a very, the September 10th date for the award is a very good one because uh, one third of all books in retail go out during the Christmas holiday season. So this is so to get it there, and you really want to start by the end of September if you're an author getting your book promoted for the Christmas season. The Folks are seasonal, so uh, yeah. it's worth getting the award and uh, hopping on that. The process, though, as far as if you were to enter on the last day of July 31st, the review process would be going on all the way up until the date of September 10th. And then the press release is issued by Mariah Media that advises everybody to the products that won across all, all categories. And then that gives the person who's the recipient of the award or the author or the creator of the product time to actually let people know about it for the holidays as well as what Mariah Media does to promote it. That's great. Yeah. Do we have any other questions from the audience? Yes. So there are lots of award programs. What would differentiate Santa Choice Awards from some of the others out there? That's an excellent question. So many award programs. What differentiates the Santa Choice Awards from other award programs? Well, the first thing is Santa is a very, very respectful person. <laughs> and, and very well known. Yeah. yeah. And our, pro our, pro 
program actually does extend far greater than most other award programs that are specific to certain industries and categories. Where their gifts, you know, during the fourth quarter of the holiday season, you know, uh, range from everybody again. That if you're looking for one-stop shopping and you want to have the fantasy, and you want to live it, you know, we have that premium of the North Pole down. And yeah. the uh, distinction of the award is certainly just as credible as any other award program. In fact, I want to just mention the differentiator is that our review panel, the people who are our executive reviewers, are in their own industries, best-selling authors, experts in their field. So each product is placed with a final review by somebody who knows much more than the typical user of it, which is part of the evaluation process. Did you want to add something? No. You're also getting a double bang for this. You're getting the role of quality, which is you usually get with an award, but you're also getting the, the hallmark of charity. Those together are certainly worth winning an award. Well, and that's what Santa's all about. It giving. To all. Yes. Right? All right. So I'm Gigi Schweikert. I want to thank you. We are here at the Book Expo in New York City. We're talking with Mariah Media and specifically their new initiative, the Santa Choice Awards. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Gigi.